Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about automated testing in Drupal. So automated testing in Drupal in the sense you can use this to test your Drupal site by uh, whatever module you are creating. So if you want to test any functionality or any uh, behavior or any function, whatever you are creating, whether those are working fine or not, by using the automated testing, you can test all those things. And Drupal, Drupal use PHP unit testing framework uh, for testing and simple test was removed in Drupal 9. So we have only uh, PHP unit testing framework and we have four types of testing. So each have to be used for different cases. And I will explain when you how to use this particular testing and you how to use this particular testing and everything I will explain how all should be used and how you, ha you can implement it but I'm not going to give any example today. I'm just going to explain all the types of testing. In future video, I will create a separate video for each testing and I will post with some examples so that you can understand it in better way. So we have four types of testing. One is unit testing, kernel testing, functional testing, functional JavaScript testing. Okay, so unit testing, what is unit testing? So unit testing is something which you want to test, which is so minimal and uh, it will contain only the auto loaded files auto loaded files in the sense whatever files are auto loaded uh, in your drupal instance all those files you can use it so all the classes you can say here all the class files will be available and then uh, here um, you can use any function which is inside any classes so if you are creating any controller in that controller if you are having a function which is going to add two numbers so you are passing two numbers as an argument, it will add two numbers and return the uh, output of the answer. So in that case, you can use this type of functionality. So you can use this to understand whether any particular function or any anything working fine or not, you can use this unit testing. And then uh, to use this unit testing in your uh, module you have to extend this class that is unit test class in your module so whenever you are creating and then next one is kernel testing so kernel testing it will have the auto loaded files so when it come to unit testing it will have only auto loaded files but kernel testing will have auto loaded files and also some extra feature compared to unit testing so it's a bootstrap kernel and um, uh, services and hooks all will be available in this so services and the hooks in the sense so whatever hook you are creating in your custom module if you want to test whether the hook is working or not you can test by using this uh, kernel testing services also you can use and you uh, but the site will not be enabled in the kernel testing so it will be uh, checking like uh, well, you, you have to mention if you are using this particular hook from th this particular module you have to list all those module in your testing so that it can enable that module in, and it, it can check whether the uh, services or hooks or any functionality whatever you are creating whether all those are working fine or not okay but those are not actually enabled okay so uh, to use the kernel testing in your um, drupal instance you have to use a class called kernel test base as a base class okay and that's it about this one and next one is functional testing so by the name itself you can understand you can test any functionality so functionality in the sense the site will be completely installed and I already posted a video about uh, PHP, uh, the automated testing setup in Drupal. So in that video, I shown example with the quick note clone, clone module. So in that module, uh, I have uh, run some testing and I have posted a video. You can go and check that. That is an example of functional testing. So uh, it, you can perform any HTTP request. HTTP request in the sense, so if you are creating any configuration form and if you are having another page which is dependent upon the configuration value whatever you are giving so you can tell to the testing that go to this particular page and give the value and submit it and then go to this page and check this page should contain this particular value then the testing passes right so in that type of testing you can go with the functional testing so you can have a number of dependencies so for this also you have a uh, class called 
browser test base. So this class you have to be extended if you want to write functional testing in your module. And the last one is functional JavaScript. So by the name itself, you can check any a functionality related to JavaScript or Ajax. All those you can do with this testing in the browser. And you have you have two classes here. For general testing, you have to go with this uh, class web driver test base and then performance, you have to go with the performance test base. Okay, so and that's it. These are the types of testing and explanation and when you have to use it and how you have to use it. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.